woke up earlier today because I have a moose failure or partial failure. The bike is wobbling really, really bad, so I gotta take the rear wheel out with the limited tools that I have to see if I can do something about it. I thought this was uh, more bulletproof than it is, but uh, look, it's uh, uh, there is nothing. There's an air gap between here and the moose, and in some parts, see, there's moose over here, and nothing. Moose, moose, air gap, air gap. Air gaps actually have absolutely awesome traction, but um, on the street you can see the wheel going like this. What's the problem? A um, couple of places the moose has collapsed, literally. So, you know, the moose is this thick, and in some places, it's like this thick. So, uh, here it's fine, on this side it's fine, here it's fine, it's fully, fully co co okay, but here. It's collapsed. I'm gonna try to fill it up with something and I have nothing here in the middle of the woods and I don't want to put wood in there, right? So I'm gonna fill it up with an old t-shirt and then I might have done a little bit of a jimmy rigging over here with this uh, tire which is a little bit too big but man, the traction was absolutely pristine but that might have ruined my moose a little bit but it's okay. Uh, uh, lesson learned. Uh, and now the moose with the size that it is right now I think it's easily fit into a Kenda Trackmaster which is one of my favorite tires. Oh, I lost the rear! And for those people who want to say, oh, it's, it's a t-shirt. No, it's not. I just made a mistake. Because people like to blame the tire for their mistakes. It was me fucking it up. I never blame the tire for my mistakes. Yeah, there are some better tires with better grip, but they're in between five or six percent. So see, I made a mistake over there too. I'm trying to get around the rocks more than usual just because I'm trying to protect the rear rim and because of that I'm getting on some lines that I wouldn't pick otherwise. I usually blast through these rocks a little bit more so See these rocks are kind of like more like try to take it easy so my t-shirt doesn't break. You know I want to wear that t-shirt. That was gonna be the t-shirt I'm gonna wear when, when I'm gonna make this video. See if I take it out in one piece. Awesome trail, awesome trail, awesome traction. Up oh, ledge, watch the rim. I think I was a rut. I think the root of the tree will still bend and break the rim and the spokes. You hit it hard with no protection from a tire. Handlebars up, 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 up. Brake. Turn. Yeah, but riding this, I couldn't tell that I have a t-shirt in my tire. I could not tell I have a t-shirt in my tire over here. In some places, I could feel a little bit more squishy than usual, but I would not be able to tell the expert that I am. I could have bought this bike and ride it like this, and take it out, and surprise! 
the previous owner would have done this to me. Yeah, it's... Oh, handlebars. Watch them, watch them, watch them, ledge. Handlebars. The inside trees are terrible and oh, oh go birds go 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 Eat up on my momentum I was surprised that David behind me choose not to uh, do the, the technical stuff. He's like, let's stay away from the technical stuff today. I was very surprised. Ledge. Yeah, it's usually he likes crazy stuff, but today I guess he doesn't. Man, the grip is so good on this t-shirt tire. It's so freaking good! Oh, fucked it up! I fucked it up! Didn't get my balance right. Watch for inside line tree. Oh! I watched too much. Inside tree over here too. No! Power! That was awesome. T-shirt tire holding up pretty good today. Let's see how much pressure we have. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs>